Understanding the techniques used in rally driving will help you understand the relationship between car and road surface and how to be the master of control under extreme pressure. Dirt Rally has a precisely detailed vehicle handling model, so you will need to utilize real-world driving techniques to get through our most technical stages in one piece. Master these techniques and you'll maximize the potential of every car, allowing you to get better stage times and challenge for championship victories. Weight transfer is the core component that most aspects of rally driving revolve around. That is, the inertia of the car's weight as it changes direction. This is the force that makes your body move as the car brakes, accelerates and turns. Weight transfer affects the amount of mechanical pressure applied by each of the four tyres against the road surface. When a car speeds up, slows down or turns, each tyre will experience a difference in that mechanical pressure compared to when the car is stationary. This results in an increase or decrease of the potential grip available. Braking and accelerating produces longitudinal weight transfer and turning produces lateral weight transfer. It can also be influenced by other factors such as the road surface, jumps and crests. Always try and manage the weight transfer at the moment it's required, whether accelerating, braking or turning. This will maximise the grip potential of each tyre, keeping you flowing in and out of sections throughout a stage. It is important to bear this basic principle in mind as you watch these guides, as almost all these techniques are used to manage weight transfer. Like an aeroplane, rally cars move in three axes. Roll pitch and yaw. Rally cars are known for performing big slides. Most of the time these slides are induced by the driver to achieve as high a speed through a corner as possible without sliding off the road. In order to traverse a rally stage quickly and without crashing you must manage the attitude of the car at all times. In rallying the racing line means the same as in any other form of motorsport. That is, to straighten the track as much as possible through corners. However, unlike some other forms of motorsport where drivers use every inch of the track to find the perfect racing line, rally drivers have only one shot at each corner, so they often leave a small margin for error. As a rally stage undulates through forests or curves around mountains, it is not always possible to see the racing line. Accurate pace notes are vital so that you know where to place the car on the road even if the section ahead is not immediately visible. You should also listen out for obstacles such as gate posts or piles of logs that may cause you to take a slightly different line through a corner than you otherwise would. When you're out on stage, make sure you listen to your co-driver and position your car appropriately for the road ahead. Always try and allow a small margin for error. When you hear drivers talking about maximum attack, they are talking about when they are pushing as hard as they can to get the most out of the car. This often leads to some of the most spectacular moments in rallying as drivers set stage records or push too far and have an event ending crash. Knowing when to push and when to be conservative are vital when competing in an event. If you're recovering from a mechanical issue and you're trying to make up time to the rest of the field, it may be a valid strategy to push harder as you have very little to lose. If you're in the top three and setting competitive stage times, it may be more sensible to take a conservative approach and avoid any big risks. In reality, drivers often take a measured approach, driving at 95% of their full potential so as not to make any big mistakes while still maintaining a competitive pace. In Dirt Rally, this measured approach is advisable as you get to grips with your car and how it responds to the stages and the conditions. 